Minecraft is an enormous and expansive game built on surprisingly simple mechanics, but the more you poke at it, the more complex things can become. I'm William Strife, and this is a quick guide on how to build automatic double doors in Minecraft. Adding double doors to any building in Minecraft is a fantastic functional way to round out and improve any building you work out of. Having to constantly open and close two separate doors every time you need to enter or exit, though, is tedious and annoying. You can add pressure plates to help, but if you don't hit both plates at the same time, you can get caught on a door, which defeats the appeal of having two doors and being able to easily enter and exit through a wider gap. Well, there's an easy way to fix this, and it only takes 10 bits of redstone. That's right, no torches, no repeaters, nothing fancy. Just two doors, two pressure plates, 10 bits of redstone, and a bit of digging. In fact, it's so simple, even if you've never used redstone or avoided outright, this is a build you can easily memorize. To build one of these doors, you have to start with a trench that's six blocks long, two blocks wide, and two blocks deep. Then, on the side where you want the doors to be, build up a simple pyramid of blocks in the trench, with the top two being where the doors will go. Next, take the ten bits of redstone and place them on all the blocks exposed. This is all of the redstone necessary for the build. Now, on the side of the trench without the doors, place full blocks across the top to hide the redstone wiring. This is an important step, as doing it also forces the redstone to connect to the blocks that work the doors. Now the last step is to place two pressure plates behind the doors on the blocks that cover the redstone. And with that, you're done. That's all you have to do to make a pair of fully functioning redstone double doors. As an afterthought though, there are a few notes and possible augmentations to the build. First are the holes to the left and right of the doors. Never try to fill them in. There's nothing wrong with covering them up, but don't place anything in them. Second, sometimes mobs will spawn in the farthest corners on the side with the doors. To avoid this, just pop in some torches, but again, never fill these spaces with blocks. Finally, if you choose to build this setup with iron doors, you can place a button on the bottom block to the left or right of the doors on the outside, and they'll open no problem. If you want it looking even though, feel free to place two buttons with one on either side. Lastly, you can have working pressure plates on both sides of the doors by expanding the trench as you see here. You're basically mirroring what you did behind the doors in front of the doors. However, doing this means everything from chickens to creepers will be able to waltz right into your house as they please, which more or less defeats the purpose of having doors, which is to keep things out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment, or maybe share with your friends. If you really want to help though, you can contribute to me at strife.solutions. Believe me, it's way better than subscribing, or ever messing with that bell button. Until next time though, thanks for watching and listening. I'm William Strife, and I'll see you later.